Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to talk about how you can keep mice out of your RV and prevent them from doing damage. Now, mice are a big problem for RVers and if you haven't had one yet in your RV, consider yourself fortunate and uh, chances are that sooner or later you're going to get a mouse in your house. So the point you want to keep in mind is that mice are not just nuisances, they're not just irritating, they can do damage. I mean serious damage and that's because they chew on pipes, on wood, on clothes, on furniture, on paper products and believe it or not for some reason they love electrical wires. So imagine the kind of damage that mice could do getting behind walls and chewing up wires and everything else they can get their teeth on. And before you know it, thousands and thousands of dollars are spent on repairs just because of mice. And one of the places that mice really like to get into RVs is when it's in storage. You know, that's because nobody's living in it, you're not in it, uh, so they view it as a great shelter, a great place to hang out for a while. Well, before you know it, you come back to your RV and you'll find that it's just destroyed in some places. So what we want to talk about today is first of all, how do you prevent mice from coming into your RV, especially when it's in storage? And number two, what do you do when you already have them in there? So let's start with preventing mice. And the first way to do that is to look for all the gaps, all the holes that are leading into your RV. And, and it takes a, a lot of effort to find these because there's a lot of places where pipes come in, a wire comes in, other uh, connections come in, and they may not be completely sealed. So you need to find these spots and uh, there's a, a twofold way of dealing with that. Number one, stuff steel wool in the holes and the gaps because uh, mice have a hard time getting through steel wool. And number two, then use expanding foam on top of that so it really seals it and provides a good barrier to keep mice out. That's the first suggestion. The second one, remove all food while that RV is in storage, except maybe canned goods. They might have a hard time getting through that, but even if you put food in plastic containers, they can get through. The third suggestion, and this is one that uh, some RVers swear by and other RVers swear at, and that is use strong natural scents to repel uh, mice. And when we're talking about natural scents, uh, one that's very often used is peppermint soaked cotton balls. Just make sure you use enough. It's got to really have that strong scent to keep them out. Uh, second is Irish spring soap, believe it or not, is a strong scent that repels mice. Uh, Mothballs has been used with success. Also dryer sheets. All of these have uh, scents that many RVers say uh, keeps mice out of the RV. Others say that they've used them and they came in anyway, so it's up to you to decide. The next suggestion, the number four suggestion, is to use Predator P. <laughs> And uh, that is actually a product uh, that is made th from the urine of predators like bobcats and coyotes and so on. Uh, it can be a spray form, it can be granulated form, but you put it around the RV. The thinking is mice know who the predators are. If they sense that there's some in the area because of their urine, well then they will just stay out of that RV. So that's another uh, possible way to repel mice. The fifth suggestion is using lights under the RV. A lot of RVers uh, will buy rope lights and put them underneath all the way around. The thinking herein is that mice don't like lights. Uh, they don't like lighted areas. They like to be sheltered in kind of uh, in the dark. So if you light up the RV underneath, well the thinking is it'll repel mice. 
again, some say it works like a charm, others say eh, it didn't work at all. So it's up to you to decide on that. The last suggestion for when you have an RV in storage is if it's a motorhome, keep the access to the engine open, like the hood. Um, the reason for that is because, again, mice don't like lighted areas. They like dark areas that are enclosed. They don't like drafts. So when you open it up, they're most likely not going to make a nest in your engine. The reason you want them out of that area is think of all the electrical wiring that goes into your engine. They can destroy that quickly and you can just imagine the expense there is in repairing that. So those are ways to prevent mice from coming into your RV. But what if you already have a mouse in the house, so to speak? And you know, even full timers deal with this. There's just no way to keep them completely out. What do you do? Well, here's four suggestions for dealing with a mouse problem that's already begun. The first one a lot of people are not going to like, and uh, that is poison. It does work. Uh, in fact, uh, this kind of uh, Tomcat poison seems to work very well, highly reviewed, and uh, it comes in these little stations so it can be safely put out in the RV. But the problem with poison is, yes it works, but the mouse will probably take the poison, go back into their wall den where you can't access and die. And then you have this smell that you have to put up with. So if you're going to choose that route, consider that uh, result. Now the second way of handling it is to use something called glue traps. And again, these work well. You place bait on them. They have very sticky substances. So the mouse comes on the stickiness and is stuck there and can't get back into its little den and hole. But the problem with that again is you need to be have a regular schedule for checking your RV. You, this is not a set it and forget it type of thing. You've got to be checking back and removing uh, these glue traps with the mice uh, on a regular basis. Now the third suggestion is something called a humane mouse trap, and that is this little uh, plastic cylinder where you put the uh, bait inside, the mouse goes in and is trapped inside. It has room to move around and holes to breathe, uh, and that allows you then to take that cylinder, uh, take it out of your RV, go way away from it, and release them. And it's the most humane way of dealing with a mouse problem. But again, it's not a set it and forget it. If you're going to save the mouse, you need to check on a regular basis uh, these uh, humane traps and then uh, dispose of them properly. Now the last suggestion is the most effective by almost all accounts. It is the good old mouse trap. Yes, it works. It, that's just the, the bottom line. If you put the right bait on them and put it out, then most likely you're going to take care of your mouse problem fairly quickly. But again, many consider it inhumane in the way it's dealt with. It's up to you to decide. All of these methods of dealing with a mouse in your RV are effective, but you need to decide what works best for you. Just keep in mind that the longer you allow uh, mice in your RV, the greater potential there is for major damage to be done. Well, I hope these ideas will help you keep your RV as mice-free as possible. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.